Welcome to my show, Secrets of a Personal Trainer, Unfiltered. My name is Cornelia Dura. I'm your show host. I'm also a former IFBB World Champion, a personal trainer in my gym Fit and Fight in Pampano Beach, Florida, and I'm also an economist. Let's get started with your transformation right now. Episode 46 the Ozempic weight loss issue. I didn't do a podcast now for the last two months because I was thinking the whole time back and forth what I should do with this Ozempic problem. More and more people are taking it. More and more doctors are uh, giving prescription for it. And I'm just so against it. So I was thinking back and forth how to handle that topic. And I came to the conclusion last Monday that I need to address this Ozempic thing. Monday I was watching uh, CBS as every morning, the morning show, and Gail King is just introducing that she has a guest today, somebody very special, somebody very close to her heart. And make a guess who that was. It was Oprah, Oprah Winfrey. And she was there to introduce uh, some book from the from her bookstore or book club. And uh, the guest who wrote the book, she was supporting him there. So all this, I don't really care about her recommendations in books. What I was caring about, and I think everybody was just caring about the following and not about the book anymore. Oprah stood up and she was skinnier than I am. Now, I'm in real good shape if you take a look at my website conidura.com. I'm in relatively good shape for my age especially and Oprah is skinnier than I am. So what the hell did she do? Then I was googling and I read that she is 42 pounds less. We have today May 5. So since January she lost 42 pounds. I could barely recognize her body anymore. That's how skinny she got. And honestly, she looked great. That's really bad news for me, but she looked really great. And I was reading that she is a part owner of Weight Watchers. And you know that probably, I think she owns 50% or 51% of Weight Watchers. And Weight Watcher made a big investment a couple of months ago, last fall, they bought a, like a chain of doctors so they are able to work together with uh, doctors who can subscribe drugs, giving prescription out. So at that time when I read that, I did not really know why they would buy a chain of doctors or having them under their contract, under Weight Watcher contract, because Weight Watcher is honestly the only thing I believe you can lose your weight. This is the only thing I strongly recommend. They can help you about portion sizes. They can teach you the value of food, especially how bad processed food is. So they really teach a lot. I love Weight Watchers. Now, why would they buy a chain or subscribe with uh, doctors working together with doctors? Now I know. Now I know. Oprah, the star, the half god for women here in the United States, they do everything what Oprah says. Now, Oprah lost this weight with Ozempic. They bought this doctor chain. And now they have all the doctors who are able to subscribe Ozempic if they think it's appropriate. Now, what is Ozempic? Ozempic is a drug for diabetes sick people that means they have um, very high sugar because their pancreas does not produce insulin so it takes it breaks the sugar levels down that's what Ozempic is doing it's a diabetic drug so if you take that drug your pancreas works well and it takes down the sugar level so that means you will have very, very low blood sugar because your pancreas is working, your insulin level is perfect, and Ozempic reduces this sugar level even further. So there are a lot of, lot of huge side effects from Ozempic. Let me just share you a couple of them. 
the low blood sugar is one thing, so you start to get dizzy and all that. That's not even the worst part. You can have kidney failure. When you don't have kidneys working, you are on dialysis twice a week for eight hours. That's, that's, that's a huge side effect. You need to consider that. You can have damaged blood vessels in your eye. That means you can go partly blind. It's not 100%. No, it's not. But who knows? Maybe you are the one. Nobody got really sick with COVID around me. I got really, really sick with COVID. I really, like, I almost had to say goodbye to this world. That's how sick I got with COVID. I never expected to get so sick with COVID because I'm healthy. I have a great immune system. I juice every day. And I still got so sick. So how do you know that you are not the one with the kidney failure? I did not think I'm the one. I'm the idiot who gets so sick with COVID and I'm so healthy. I'm just saying you need to consider that. Then, very, very important, you have a much higher risk of getting thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer, serious, serious illness. You need to think about that when you want to get skinny as Oprah is. Could be that you don't get it. But if you are the percentage who gets it and then what? You are skinny, you have the perfect body, and then you have thyroid cancer. And then in two years, maybe it's over. Then you had the perfect body and you step into your grave skinny. I'm just saying, you need to consider that. Also, the smaller side effects are hair loss, gallstones, swelling of the pancreas. That, I don't know how that shows or how you feel that. But again, you could, you could end up having diabetes without never being a diabetic before. It's, it's there. You, you could get that. Then, when you stop taking pro, uh, Ozempic which, by the way, costs $1,000 a month with prescription because, the, thank God, the insurances are not paying for that garbage for uh, when you are healthy, only for diabetic people, then um, you will gain the weight back because you eat, again, the same garbage, the same shit what you ate before, you are eating all the time the same. So it will not change your behavior. Now, a side effect, a positive side effect from Ozempic is you have a lot of time, like positive when you want to say it's positive, you get stomach ache. You just don't feel well. Your stomach does not feel well. So when your stomach doesn't feel well, you don't want to eat. It doesn't matter chocolate or, or cookies or whatever you want to eat or some salty um, stuff. You just don't feel like you want to eat. That's a side effect from Ozempic, and that's the side effect while you are losing weight. There is also vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pains. One of my clients, she has diabetes. She got the Ozempic. Her pain, her stomach pain was so bad that she asked the doctor to uh, subscribe, uh, to give the prescription for something else, not for, for Ozempic. She cannot take that. I'm just saying the abdominal pains were really, really strong. And also, what never got studied, what is in a couple of years? Let's say you take this for one, two years, let's say, or even longer. What are the long-term side effects? What is coming after that? Nobody knows. Ozempic is not that long on the market. So we don't have any research. We don't have any data. What's happening to your body in the long term? Now... I know all this is not important because if you're obsessed, if you really want to lose all that weight, you will take Ozempic anyway. I understand that. I really do understand that because you care so much to be skinny. It's so important, especially here in the United States, to be in good shape. It's so profound to have a skinny body that if you are 50, 60, 70 pounds too much and you never, no diet, nothing really worked for you and you never really wanted to exercise, you will try the Ozempic anyway. So now let me start here. Let's say you take this Ozempic, you lose the weight. Please try to think about changing your eating habits. 
try to eat more fruits and veggies. What I'm telling everybody else. Why would you not try that too? So slowly, when you lost your weight and you feel so far so good, why don't you transform slowly into a healthy lifestyle even while you are taking the Ozempic? So maybe there is a chance when you change your habits while you are taking Ozempic, maybe you can stop using it and you still stay skinny after the Ozempic time. So you will not be on that for the next 20 years of your life. You use that and while you are using it, you are changing your lifestyle to you work out three times a week for 45 minutes. You are changing your food intake. You change to healthier food. Don't eat garbage food because that's the only way. That's the only way how you, can, how you can stay skinny when you stop using Ozempic. But maybe you take this as a start and you see the weight is dropping because you have always like a kind of stomach ache or stomach pain. So you cannot eat. You see the pounds are dropping fast. Start already switching to healthier stuff. When you are eating something, try to eat healthier because this is the time you don't want to eat anyway. You are not hungry. So use this time, then your stomach hopefully shrinks a little bit and you change what you are eating. And that could be a solution in the long run to stay in good shape and skinny without Ozempic. That, that's the only thing. And I, I understand I stopped saying to people not taking Ozempic because there is no way. There's, I, cannot, I cannot stand against Oprah, if even Oprah takes it. What the hell should I do? I, I cannot stand against that because I don't have the power for that. I would not take it. But I know you, a lot of my listeners, think about that, especially the 50, 60, 70 pound overweight one. I can see their point. Believe me, I can see your, their point. I understand that. Also, did you know Jenny Craig went out of business? And I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure this Ozempic craze from the last four or five months just destroyed Jenny Craig. By the way, I personally believe Nutrisystem is not far away behind after Jenny Craig because they are not selling this. And everybody, especially here in the U.S., everything needs to happen fast. You have to lose weight fast. Ozempic is, that's what you get. You lose the weight fast with all the side effects or part of the side effects, what I, I talked about. You need to think about that. Also, if you're an Ozempic, the weight loss is so fast that your muscles are disappearing too. Most of you who are taking Ozempic, you are not exercising. That means you have sagging skin and a deflated butt. Uh, you can normally see everybody who's taking Ozempic from this fast weight loss. Their muscles, they are like sagging down the body. It does not look good. So why are not, while you are taking the Ozempic, why not adding exercise to it? Work out, keep the muscles alive. So when you are losing the fat, you have a beautiful muscle volume under the fat and you are reaching to a really good body, hopefully after your Ozempic time. Again, I would not take it. The side effects are huge. You make your own decision and please add exercises, sign up in a gym. Take If you can afford a thousand dollars for Ozempic, I'm sure there is twice a week personal training session for 30 minutes included then too. You add that and you have a chance after a couple of months to slowly get rid of Ozempic and you stay skinny in good shape. Work out while you take Ozempic and change your nutrition habits. If you have more questions to this and if you want to have, um, if you want to take a look what to eat, you can go also on Amazon and download. If you have um, the Amazon Kindle, you can download for free my book, um, Secrets of a Personal Trainer. And I write down the whole way how to eat healthy, what to eat, and how you keep, how, how you keep your body healthy. Take a look at that, Secrets of a Personal Trainer, and uh, download it there for free. Um, reboot your health today. Today is the day to get started already after the time 
when you do Ozempic, what is coming after that? Plan now, plan parallel. So you have the best results there.